Greetings. What business have you? Is there anything I can help you with, Sir Hans? Ah, Henry, the very man I wanted. There is something you can do for me. You see? I'm in love. Ah, there's a new wench at the bathhouse, is there? Watch it, Henry. This is the love of my life we're talking about, not some wench. The face of an angel, breasts like silk pillows to dream on, and good strong hips. A regular Helen of Troy. Troy? Isn't that near Prague? I don't know anyone from there. Never mind, blockhead. What I'm saying is, she's a fine filly, and you can help me win her. Sounds like fun. I'm all ears. You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. You shall bear her a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. But why me? It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her, um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. And who is this Carolina? The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. You must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. Unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. Carolina. I do know her. She's a pretty girl, all right, but, um, well, a little below your station. Love knows no station but the heart. And you keep your peasant eyes off her. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. What happened to it? I lost it playing dice at the inn. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. And I'll reward you handsomely. Oh, all right then. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Well, that's not important. So some dice player from Ledechko won your grandmother's valuable necklace. Haven't you learned anything from losing to Zdena, the bathhouse wench? My great-grandmother's. And, as it happens, I have learned a trick or two. But that fellow has the luck of the devil. No doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out of their hard-earned groschen. Oh, uh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll go to Ledetsko, find this diabolical dice player and see what I can do. Though I'll probably lose my shirt to him. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Goodbye. How come you're wearing such fine armor? Is there a joust happening? Are you the one who played dice with Lord Capon? Played and won, lad. Fine noble he may be, but 
but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you want from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was. Well dressed, on horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interesting looking dice. You said they fell well for him? Aye, no wonder. Fine dice they was. Made special. All shiny and whatnot. Do you know where this fellow was heading? He was waiting for someone here. But when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sasau River. That one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sasau. That's all I need to know. Yeah! Yeah.
feel quite hungry. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah.
you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um... Well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a, um... A, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. I'm listening. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is... This is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, I found him... Like this. Ah, God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together, I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' camp and find that fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me, and I'm not on the best of terms with them. They'd most likely kill me on sight. <sighs> then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble. Not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. And how am I supposed to recognize the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him, too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognise anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. It was his pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. What can you tell me about Alphonse, so they don't catch me out if they start asking questions? Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people very well, too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. What do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? 
I'm sure the Sasal custodian would lend you a few men. There's nothing I'd like to see more than the lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishot, especially holding up merchant's wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff, nor Vlasheen for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Damn politics. My word, the whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? I'll help you. I'll have to go there to look for the necklace anyway, and this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. I'll bear that in mind. There's something else I'd like to ask. I've no more questions. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had, or something in particular? Well, looks like he died without a struggle, maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had, money, jewellery, even his boots. someone was trying to get rid of something here. Looks like someone went this way with the nobleman's horse.
There's something else I... I've no more questions. There's something else I... Well, that doesn't make any sense. No, no. They never saw him before. Are you quite sure? I... He moved... So I reckon the best thing... Is there anything else I... The main thing is to look and sound like a noble. I've no more questions. There's something else... What do you know about them? Actually, they're not just ordinary. They came... Why don't you... There's nothing... What was the perp... Look, Henry, you bet... It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed... True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robin... I see. No, neither... Damn politics. What can you tell me about Alphonse? Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slan. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to... You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player. I've no more questions. in someone else's bed. Get lost. Hey, young fellow. You can't sleep here. Go and find a bed of your own. Out. Hey, get up off that bed. you sleep in someone else's bed. Get lost. What do you think this is, an inn? Get the hell out. Yeah.
That's him. An assassin, eh? The old woman Good sets a fucking assassin on me. Well, I'll kick his ass. You're done for, fucker. Oh, dear God. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
wrong with him? I'm not even sure. Only he's become such a coward. He just agrees to everything and doesn't say anything back to anyone. He isn't the man I married. Our Lord's tasty. Good on bread and for crying. Come and get it, fine people. And pork crackling too. A joy to taste. Humans in his body. What does that mean? It was the ancient I'm fed up with the back teeth. All this constant fear for some couple jumping out from nowhere. But I know it means Good men, good wives. Come have a look. Don't be shy. You'll never see such fine things. For all the good it did. Another lot attacked Mary. God be with you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Salami, sausages, lard of all kinds, and scratchings that make your mouth water more than the finest paint. into your clothes if you were robbed you should report it I'm interested in your uh, services and what is it you'd like proper bath and my clothes need washing I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied take care <coughs>
Show what you're made of. Yeah. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? Have you got charcoal for sale? Charcoal? No, we've got linen. Want to buy linen? What? You have no charcoal? Of course we've got charcoal. What do you think we've got in them kilns? Pies? What do you need it for? For the Pribis Lovitz blacksmith. What do you want about? He's been dead for years. No, 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 the new one. The village has been renewed. Is that so? Nobody tells us nothing. So, will you sell me some? Why not? How much do you need? At least five bags a week. Hmm. We could manage that. And how will you get it there? Have you got someone to haul it? Uh, actually, I don't. Then you ought to find someone, unless you want to haul it on your back. All right. I'll take care of that and come back to you. Good luck, then. Yeah. Fucker! 
Well, I'll do it.
Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilevets? You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? All the way from Prague, eh? Not at all, Goodman. Uh, from Slanny. Ah, well, that's quite a haul. How was your journey? As well as might be expected in these perilous times. Oh, aye. The roads ain't safe at all these days. There's all sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. Indeed, indeed, I concur. One must be wary, well, cautious, even, when travelling. Right then, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. No matter. I shall just, uh... Ah, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old piece of jewelry. Uh, jewelry, you say? Uh, that's right. Just go and see old Blaha, the fellow sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe. And other things, too. He keeps things in shape here a bit. Thank you. I may well do that. What a shady. I need a good scrap to cheer me up. Can you tell me something about yourself? What can I tell you? I can read and write a bit, and I help Sir Earhart out when he needs it. Although, I have to say, since the Baron took to robbing, there's not much work for me anymore. And what did he do before that? No one's what every him. landed noble does. He still had some estates and income from them, only he lost it all some years ago on account of debts. So he had to find some other livelihood. How did you find this place? That was my doing. I heard from a scribe about some ownership feud that ended up badly for both sides. Since then, it's been left neglected. Oh, that's a shame. No doubt it was once a fine place. Aye, the vagaries of fortune, eh? Times are harsh and what have you. It's always been that way and always will. I wonder how many burned out, abandoned ruins will be left when Sigismund withdraws. How many folk will have no homes to return to? And how many won't be returning ever? But that's our lot in this vale of tears. There'll be no peace and quiet till the next life. Amen to that. Have you got any special rules? Nothing out of the ordinary. Just remember, oh, we're not some bunch of again. dirty bandits. This is no the camp today. of a noble knight, so no unnecessary brawls, stabbings, or such like tomfoolery. Not that I need to explain that to you, sir. Quite. Nothing else? Well, that also means a man might take offence at something and challenge you to a duel. Always swords, and until first blood. Ah, very well. I shall try not to give offence. Camp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Aye, he's got his hands full at the moment. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? I'm Blaha, Sir Earhart's servant. I take care of things here a bit. Including dice? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things being wagered. True enough, we've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets, two necklaces, one of them's a lovely piece, a good sharp sword and some other things, I don't remember what. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something to join. Far be it from me to disrespect established custom. Agree? More! Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thanks. Filth and stink. You want to play right away? Or... Stayed home. Why wait? I'll play now. No beating around the bush. That's the way. You'll play against Noggin now. He's not the brightest, and he ain't a good loser. Stink everywhere. 
Should have stayed home. is that we do here. I just want to eat and sleep. I thought. I'm almost sober again. No one to rob here. Fucking boring. everywhere. Should have stayed home.
I'm so tired. You're a fucking cheat. Sir, I challenge you to a duel. Fuck. I won't take any accusations from you. I accept. Now you're fucked. Well landed. Go. Get out of here now. All right, all right. Thank you. Can I have a word with you? What do you want? What's your story? You don't look like one of them at all. I ain't, true enough. I'm a local. I don't go raiding with them. When they're here, I just look out for them, bring them supplies and that. And what do you do when they're not here? Whatever's needed. But being the go-between for them that set up the ambushes pays well. And you don't have to risk your neck for it. Can you tell me something about the camp here? This place? It's been here as long as I can remember. I used to come here as a youngster to play with my mates. Anyway. One time I had to lie low for a bit, so I came here and ran into these gentlemen, who pay good coin when you bring them some wine and a bit of grub. Why did you have to disappear? Ah, uh, nothing terrible. Just that I was courting this one girl, only her old man and her brothers didn't take to me. Besides which, she was promised to some rich merchant. Once they had her married off, they forgot about me, though. I'll leave you to it. Fucking lies. Fucking please. Like it's the first thing you The bloody blood. Can I ask you something? Ask away. Tell me something about yourself. Why do you want to know? You want to spread the word about what a good dice player I am? Well, I was just curious. You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. But if you must know, they call me Berta. And I'm Sir Erhart's right-hand man. Berta? <laughs> Ah, you heard of me, have you? The scourge of Vlashim. No man who felt the edge of my axe lived to tell the tale. And why are you hiding out here? I wouldn't call it hiding. We're just having a bit of a rest. From what? Things were getting a bit too hot for us. Nobody bothers us here. Just as long as we don't show our faces in Sassau. Don't you leave the camp at all? What are you trying to say? 
that we're shitting ourselves here. No, no. I was just wondering if you knew what's going on around these parts. We come across hunters now and then, or pilgrims on a the road. There are charcoal burners nearby. Sometimes they pass the time of day with us. But we've got no course to cross the river. That's too close to Sasso. What do you used to do before all this? Can I ask something? I have nothing to do with cheats. You? The You have true! Then now it's your turn. Can I ask you something? Ask away. Anything to pass the time. You're my daughter, right? I am. Why'd you ask? Just curious. This is quite an interesting retreat you men have here. You could put it that way. I ain't been here long, though. I helped them out of a tight spot and they took me with them. Is that right? How did that happen? Well, I was lying in wait for this wagon, at see. Because he'd been mouthing off about me, so I figured I'd take all he had for compensation. Anyway. I'm hiding there in the bushes, and I hear this wagon coming, so I jumped out to ambush him. Only it wasn't that wagoner, but some merchant. As soon as he saw me with my weapon drawn, he started screaming bloody murder. And next thing, his armed escort comes charging up, and I was the one ambushed. The injustice of it. Mm, vexing indeed. Aye. Anyway, they caught me and took me with them. They figured I was Sir Earhart's spy, and they wanted me to leave them to him. Of course. I told them I didn't know what the fuck they were on about. So, while they were threatening to break me on the wheel, string me up and what have you, along comes the Baron with his merry band, and they lay into the soldiers and send them running for the hills. And ever since then, I've been riding with them. That is quite an entertaining anecdote. Ain't it just? If it hadn't been for me, the fellows would have run straight into a trap and it'd all be up with them. So, it's on account of me, they're still alive. And how are things here? Do you get away much? We ain't allowed to leave. So I've been here the whole time. I don't mind, though. There's always something to pass the time. And we've got that wench. That's all. I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play Berta. He's a man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. Should have stayed home.
Fucking weather, fucking tents, fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. I already know for this shit. You can go and see your sir Earhart. Huh? I want to play Dodd. They fell your way last time. You'll play against Malada. As if we hadn't enough trouble. Shitty day. I need a good scrap to cheer me up.
over again. Eat and sleep and fuck. Fucking weather, fucking tents, fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. over again.
father of God. He's back again. What a shitty day. I need a good scrap to cheer me up. I'd like to ask, ask away. That's all. What's going on here, anyway? It all seems a little odd. Haven't you ever been in the camp of a merry band of robbers? Never quite this merry, to tell the truth. They've got their loot, and now they want some fun. Booze, dice, and women. I'm the only girl here. They're more interested in dice, anyway. And boozing. And they're no fun at all. Well, they seem very fond of their dice, all right. Aye. They always play the same way. Every player bets his most valuable piece of loot. And the winner takes all. It ends in a fight most times. Although it's a long time since anyone got killed over it. Hmm. I better watch my step then. You do that, handsome. It'd be a shame to spoil that pretty face. No, it's true. But now it's your turn. What did you do before? Well, I I made candles for a moment. I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. He put up a nice necklace as his wager. I just want to eat and sleep. Fuck.
I got a piss. Camp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. Camp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir Alphonse, you took them all by storm. Here's the key to the prize. Thank you kindly. Mother of God, he's back again. Mother of God! What fool did you come uh. out of? You have no business here.
Another question. What do you want? I'll leave you to it. <sighs> I'm so tired. I can eat my Damn. I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Fucking sick head. I'll drink no more today. And how are things here? We ain't allowed to leave. So I've been here the whole... That's all. Yeah.
I have good news for you, Sir Anselm. I know who killed your friend. Who was it? It was Pekuna, a local fellow who wanders the area getting supplies for the bandits. How did you find out? From the necklace. All right. I'll take care of it from here. And I owe you for helping me. Here, Henry, take this. I'm sorry I don't have more on me. But if you're ever in Prague, come and look me up, and I'll see you're well taken care of. It's been a pleasure, Sir Anselm. Godspeed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah.
Enough. Please, leave me be. For the love of God, I only stole a piece of bread. I was starving. Well, I'll tell you what. Keep it. What? You mean it? Get lost before I change my mind. You really let him go? Just like that? And did you get the loot back? I don't. I let him keep it. What? But at least you didn't get a head start, you bastard. No <laughs> kurama! <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah.
God save you. See you later. Oh. Greetings. What do you need? I've got that necklace. Excellent news. I'm not going to ask you how you did it. Here's a reward for you. Now you can carry on with your next task. I want you to sneak the jewellery into Carolina's trunk along with this letter. Can't I just hand them to her? You cannot. Under no circumstances must she find out who sent them. Otherwise, the whole secret admirer ploy is fucked. Oh, and by the way, Henry, watch out for the butcher. He keeps a very close eye on his daughter, and if he catches you sniffing around, well, may all the saint preserve you. Once you've delivered the things, wait a day, and then come back and see me. Goodbye. Yeah. I'm glad to see you. What are you doing here? Help, help, help.
Hey, you! What are you doing? Is someone there? Hey! She just wanted everything I had. How are you, Henry? God be with you. How are you doing? At first, I was really angry with you for getting me a job carrying shit. But it's easier work, and the pay is better. So, everything's worked out. I'm glad you see it that way. Goodbye. God be with you. What can I do for you? See you later. I'm honoured that you should come to me. Good luck, man. Ah. Hmm? God be with you. Take care. God be with you. Goodbye. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this.
God save. God save you, good night. God be with you. Mother of God, you look like I'd like to make uh huh a proper but I'm sure your God be with you. Yeah. 
Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the rest of the Yeah! Don't you know you have to have a light after dark? What? What are you doing here? Get lost, or you'll have me to reckon with. Hey. You can't just walk around in the dark. You have to have a light. It's the law. Look out.
Oh, never. What are you supposed to be about? I... Hey. Mother of God!
Enough is enough. I'm really sick of upstarts who think the law doesn't apply to them. Don't tell me you don't know everyone has to carry a knight at night. You should have thought twice about what you were doing. That will land you a fat fine. You're making a serious mistake. If only you knew what you've just got yourself into. This won't end well for you. Well, I thought... That is, I had no idea. If that's how it is, of course you may go. Hey, you! Halt! Yeah. Good day, Henry. Greetings. What do you need? I delivered the things as you asked. I already know. My spies told me everything. She was wearing the necklace this morning as I asked in the letter. So you'll go to the rendezvous with her? My pleasure. Certainly not. I'm not going to pounce on her like a bull in rutting season. Her feelings must be allowed to mature gradually. Meanwhile, you'll get a potion for me. I thought you didn't believe in witch's brews. This is no witch's brew. It's an absolutely tried and tested elixir called Musk of Infinite Allure. There's a fellow in Sassau who sells it, and he guarantees its success. Musk of infinite allure? <laughs> Sounds irresistible. All right, I'll try and get it for you. I'm sure I can rely on you. Here's some coin for your cost. See you later.
God be with you. I've heard you know of some irresistibility potion or whatever it is. Ah, oh, naturally. Musk of infinite allure. An age-old recipe. Maybe even older. Tested by Moses himself. Moses? Or how do you think he managed to get his people to follow him through the desert for 40 years? It's extremely potent. Yeah, so it would seem. How much do you want for it? Who do you take me for? The wisdom of the ancients isn't something that's bought and sold in the marketplace. Did Jesus charge for his miracles? But since you ask, how about this much? Garlic, onions, mushrooms, and asparagus. Right what? That much? You're a crook. As King Solomon said, honesty is for those who can afford it. If you like, I can mix the elixir for you in exchange for a small favor. But this is a matter that demands experience and knowledge of the philosophical arts that only a few possess. It's not a task I can trust to just anyone. But to your apprentice, you can, right? See, you read my mind. About that recipe. Uh, yes, uh, you want to buy it? Onions that'll even make your man cry like a little laugh. Come and buy some. Yes, I need it right away. I understand. Uh, I'm sure you'll be more than satisfied with it. But I won't be drinking it. Fortunately. Family happy. Onions that'll make you cry. Good luck, garlic that'll keep evil spirits <laughs> at bay. Yeah.
I heard you and Pavel of Colleen gave a donation to Sassau. It's a pity you didn't think of us. Anyway, what can I do for you? Brother Nicodemus, I'd like to thank you for the wonderful testimony you gave. You're the one who deserves thanks, Henry. I... I feared the worst. And for all my prayers, I never even dared hope for such an outcome. I could hardly believe it at first. I was very fearful for Yahanka. It didn't look good at all for her, facing such accusations. And you did an excellent job, Henry. It's largely due to you that everything turned out as it did. Thanks for defending her, Henry. Quiet. There's few people who could have done it so well. Recently, I found an interesting volume in the monastery library and made a copy from it in secret. It's just a few lines, but maybe you'll find it useful. Thanks. Do you still think the Virgin Mary's visitations were real? Yes, I think they were. Even if she didn't interpret the message quite correctly, we were certainly witness to something extraordinary. Quiet!
The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? I got you that potion from the charlatan. What charlatan? He's a man of learning who even cured the Pope of impotence. But thanks, Henry. I really appreciate your help. Once I drink this potion, every woman will faint at my feet. But I'm only interested in one. The fairest creature on God's green earth. Yeah, the butcher's daughter, I know. And then what? A rendezvous. She and I, under the cloak of night. And you shall be my herald of exalted words. You will hide and prompt me from a book of poetry. I'll do what? Here's a book of poems. I'll need a little time to get ready. Meanwhile, you can learn some poems off by heart. You'll prompt me. Learn poetry? Me? That sounds... Well, not exactly... Stop wasting time and get to it. Come back to me in a couple of hours. I have to get dressed up and groomed, and it'll take a while before the potion takes effect. See you later. sneaking around in the dark. Are you ready, Sir Hans? Henry? Something... Something's gone wrong. Open up. I'm not going to talk to the door. That potion tasted rather odd and... Now I have a feeling my face is broken out. How do I look? Uh, no offence, sir, but you gave me quite a fright. It looks as though you've slept with your head inside a wasp's nest. God's holy breaches, I knew it! And it's nearly time for my rendezvous with Carolina. What am I going to do? Surely you're not going to give up on account of a few pimples. If Carolina doesn't appreciate your charm, she's not worth the effort. Do you think she will? Even though I've got a face like an arse? 
Ah, you'll sweep her off her feet. You'll see. All right, Henry. I'll do it. Let's go. Tell me, Henry, how many girls have you had in your life? If you've had any at all, that is. Well, there's been a few, but I'm sure I can't compare with you. Ha! <laughs> Very true. One day, plays will be written about my amorous adventures. Comedies or tragedies? That might depend on how things go tonight. There's another very pretty girl living in this house here, but she's already got a suitor. Since when has that ever bothered you? Since the time her fellow threw me headfirst into a dung heap and kicked my ass for good measure. It seems your future subjects don't hesitate to take a stick to you when it comes to minding the women folk. I doubt he would have done it if he recognised me. I was, um, incognito. We're almost there. You'll hide behind a gravestone or in the bushes and don't budge from there. Otherwise you might scare her off. Hide, Henry. Time to get started. How do you know it's her who will come out and not someone else? She got the letter and necklace, didn't she? She knows that I'm... That is... Her secret admirer is coming. And what am I supposed to do? What do you think, Dalt? Prompt me from that book of poetry. Turn up late to see the love of my life. Get a move on. I don't want to turn up late to see the love of my life. See you later. Who's there? I can't see you. Your most ardent admirer, fair maid. Aha. Uh -huh. And do you have a name? What's in a name? 
that which we call a rose by any other name would still be a flower, wouldn't it? Start. What are you saying? I can't hear you. To love and be forlorn is like night without a dawn. To be close with naught to say, like winter frost in May. To love and be forlorn is like night without a dawn. To be close is not the same, like intercourse in May. No! To have lips and yet kiss not is like leaving grain to rot. To love without consummating is like unsown fields in the spring. To have lips and yet kiss not is like a leaking chamber pot. To love without constant mating is like nuns all feel in the spring. Psst. What on earth are you saying? What's that hissing? It's a, a feral goose here in the bushes. I shall love you then, my dear, as long as you lie with me here. If you'll not give your all to me, no longer shall I bide with thee. I shall let you drink my beer, as long as you, uh, buy one for me. If you'll not give your ale to me, no longer shall I buy for thee. Jesus, Henry, what kind of yokel nonsense are you babbling? Me? You're the one who's babbling? You're an odd one. I've never heard such peculiar poetry in my life. Where on earth did you come up with it? It's, it's the latest fashion in France. You've done enough harm. Better shut up and leave it to me. How did you like it, dearest? Er, uh, well, it was, um... Father is coming! Hide! I have told him. If it's not Danny again, I'll gut with my fillet knife. I didn't hear anyone. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this, Hans. I think we should. Are you still there? Still here, my love. How could I ever part from you? Father's coming! He'll kill you! He will not! Because it'll never cross his mind where I'll be. Henry? It's time for me to claim my prize. Whatever happens, cover my back. There you are, you seducer. Now you'll see how a butcher protects his daughter's honor. Buy me time. You got some explaining to do, you bastard. What are you after, you bastard, sneaking around an honest citizen's house in the dark? I went to mourn over the grave of my great-grandmother. Oh, yeah. Then what are you doing right beneath my window, eh? Well, the question is, why are you trampling on great-granny's grave, eh? Enough of your horse shit. One more word, and I'll have you. Ah! What are you doing here? Oh, my darling. Get out! Get out, or I'll call Papa! My sweet! How can you be so cruel? Hey, what was that? What was what? That noise. I'm sure I heard a strange noise. We're here in the cemetery. Maybe restless spirits, what do you reckon? I'd swear it came from the window of my own house. Well, what's that got to do with me? Someone's been creeping around after my daughter. I come out and I find you here. Quite a coincidence, eh? So, out with the truth. You're quite mistaken. I've never laid eyes on your daughter. And if she looks anything like you, I'd rather keep it that way. Why, you fucking... What do you think you're doing? Climbing in here, uninvited? Ma chérie, I came to court you. Then go and court me from the courtyard. Don't try to make a fool of me. I heard it clearly. What was that? Are you all right? It seems to me you're hearing things other folk can't hear. That's not good. You're saying I'm hearing voices in my head? Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. 
Sent Euphrosina Palotsk heard voices too, and she found in a monastery and churches and things. I heard voices too. Uh, well, could have been voices. I wouldn't swear to it though. Look, fellas, I was standing right here and I didn't hear a thing. Do you take me for a madman? Whatever you are, I want to know what you're doing under my daughter's window and who was talking to her. I heard it clear as day. Good neighbour, it can't be denied that old age dulls a man's ears. I'm here alone, praying for the souls of the good people resting in the cemetery. I've nothing to do with your daughter. Hmm, that voice sounded different to yours, though. But where did he get to? You must have seen him. Unless, unless you're covering for him. What? You don't love me? No, and I told you, get out! Well, how about a kiss, at least? What the fuck are you playing at? My patience is wearing thin. Jesus, stop your damn screeching. <clears throat> uh, what a lovely evening we're having. Nice and mild, eh? Seems to me it was hotter this time last year, don't you think? I swear I'll go mad if I have to listen to another word from you. Lads, shut this fucker up. You'll get the hiding of your life. You'll get one. Yabat, God damn. Not weak at the knees, have you? Where's your torch? You can't walk around. Greetings. What do you need? How did it go with Carolina Sands? It was a disaster, Henry. A disaster. How come? 
Didn't your recitation do the trick? What kind of nonsense were you feeding me? Carolina thought I was a thief breaking in to rob the place. I tried to explain, but she wouldn't listen. She told me to get out or she'd call her father. Oh, you're lucky I managed to keep him busy. Only now he thinks I'm the village idiot. Well, thanks for that, at least. Anyway, Carolina slammed the door in my face, so I suppose I'll have to look elsewhere for the love of my life. Well, back to writing love letters. To hell with love letters. Imagine. That silly goose couldn't even read. Ah, shame. She missed out on something very rare. Indeed. <laughs> Here's the letter, Henry. Read it. At least you're capable of appreciating my literary talent. Read and learn from a poet. God be with you. Do with a bite to eat. 